What's going on guys, Rockley AC here, back again with another video. Today, I will be bringing you my first deck profile for set 10 post-release from the Dragon Ball Super card game. We have the Hercule, the champ himself. He is the first deck that I built, mainly because I wanted to try out something a little bit different going into the set. And I did build this for the PPG online tournament, for the untapped tournament that we had this weekend. As I mentioned earlier, I was only able to play two rounds, but with the two rounds that I did, I had a lot of great data for this deck, and I wanted to present this to you guys. Now, although I did lose to both Vijex, which was a really close game, and Cell Surge, this, I believe, provides a great foundation for those who want to take this deck a little bit step further and explore the options that this leader has to offer. So today, I'll be presenting you guys the Hercule deck set 10. So real quick, why play this? Basically, we are in an era where there's no Janemba Mill, there's no Shen Gogeta, so these were the decks that really hindered Hercule from really, really playing, especially with Janemba milling out a lot of your cards, especially in a 50-card deck. Back in the day, this was not really viable if you were in that matchup. Also against Shenron Gogeta, sure, you could get a great hand size, but then automatically they'll drop the Gogeta 7, and they'll wipe your hand 13, 14, 15 cards plus, and you'll have to start all over. Most likely not going to happen in that scenario. So it's a great time to at least try this leader out because of all the variety of decks that are happening. It has great hand size, good tech against overall a lot of the meta decks, and uh, of course, he's a champion, so got to represent. Some pros about this deck is the obvious hand size, great against hand destruction, Frieza, some of the green Gokus going around, Dredge Crew, it is able to keep up uh, with a lot of the hand sizes. You'll have at least 10 cards every single game. It has really good inherent board removal. Uh, you are playing green and red, which I believe has the best like natural board removal. So you'll be having access to those cards. And you do play the big finisher Kaoken, which is a very solid 7 slash... Well, you could play them on turn 5 if you have 20 red or green battle cards in your dropped area. Something that people don't really expect. There are some negatives, of course, against really, really aggressive decks. I didn't see any type of Gohan reboot leader or anything like that, but that would definitely give this a run for its money. Also, a lot of go-wide strategies early on, such as Vajex, that could establish several boards, board states early game, uh, maybe even Kid Ku as well. That gets a bunch of 20Ks, 30Ks early on. It can combo, but obviously not on a wide board state if you're swinging 20, 30K bodies all the time also the minus 5k still hurts the hercule is a 5k 10k on the other side so even though you do draw a lot it doesn't have a lot of defense uh even in comparison decks like bulma blocker decks that has a lot of blockers and defense she still has a little bit better chance to outlive herself against certain matchups also against go tanks who can also keep up with hand parity you're not really discarding their hand and go tanks with the ability can draw several cards. So again, just like all decks out there, I believe it does have its matchups, but Hercule is super fun and I think you guys should try him out. So let's go ahead and start with the deck profile. So you got the leader during the combo. If you have a battle card in the combo phase, you draw a card, then they get the skills for the battle. So they attack you for 10k, combo with a battle card, you draw, you could take the life if you want to, to gain more access to certain cards. On the flip side, when you awaken, you draw three cards. So again, this goes great against the hand destruction decks. You're pretty much not going to be stuck with a really low hand size because you could just recover from your awaken ability. And then the same thing, if you have a card in your combo area, uh, you could draw a card. You could essentially draw five, six cards when you awaken with this ability. Same thing. And then when you attack, you draw a card as well. So very strong. So let's go ahead with the battle cards. This is a green-red deck. So you run the multicolor engine. You got Broly, Demonic Origins. That pretty much is your energy on tap. Real easy. You are running 4 Topo, Righteous Aid. You got to in this kind of meta where there are decks that exist such as Go tanks who could attack multiple times, decks like Vajex who could put, a, put on a whole board that could attack multiple times. Many, many decks right now are getting out stuff for free, and you're going to need a ways to stop their momentum. So Topo, 
Very strong. Super combo of choice is Nappa, Demolition Man. For a number of reasons, he is a multicolor card, so it's easy for a rival. And he has a body to go on play for basically the defense. Your opponent swing is 10k in the beginning. They're not, most likely not going to combo, so you combo out of that. Draw a card with Hercule, and then it goes on the field. And then they swing again. You'll have Nappa on board, so you could combo again and draw a card. So very, very useful. A really valuable card at best. Next are the four internal villainy cell. This allows you to draw two, essentially keeping up with the hand size. Super strong in this Hercule. You could use it for defense or aggressive purposes, or if you want to arrival with other battle cards. Chi Chi, she's another great potential draw two cards. If you have a two multicolor red green cards in your energy, then you could draw a card, play with Hercule. Really simple draw two. Next, because we are running the KO Ken 7 drop as our finisher, you need to be able to have ways to mill. You are going to be comboing a decent amount from your hand, so you should be able to have 20 cards by turn 5, and this is one of the cards that helps out. Combo with this, Blaze of Glory, Sun Gohan, mill up to 3, and have a better chance of getting that win condition met. Next is 3 KO Ken. Uh, from the draft box, this card is amazing. This definitely overperformed. It really helped clear some board against the Vajex matchups and other decks that go wide. Although you do have to pay a hefty hand cost or energy cost for this, you are going to have a upside if your opponent has four or five battle cards on the field and you need ways to remove them. So very strong. It's also great against Invoker. If you use the bottom effect, you could pay two, send this from the hand of the drop, and then you could... KO a uh, 25k or less from the field and um, without without barrier, ignoring barrier. Super strong. Next are other tech cards. Uh, because I'm a red leader and not a green, there are some cards that you have to find as an alternate version. And Father Son Kamehameha is one of those cards that's great because stuff like Slumber Strike is uh, only for green leader. So Father Son Kamehameha is mostly in there for decks that want to put in some big monsters early, uh, successor stuff, uh, Sin Shenron sometimes if you want to pressure them, make sure you get rid of their blocker early game so that you could go in with your uh, boss monster at the end. Two Denial of Hope, this is mostly for uh, Invoker, especially like Rival Seeker, that's a new card that the Invoker decks got as a really big ammo and ammunition for the deck to bring out the six drop goku so they could start burn damaging you this is really the one of the only ways to get rid of that so you can prevent them from doing the burn damage at the end so you need to be able to have ways to get rid of it and denial of hope is really strong very powerful still in this format and it can hit a lot of problem cards again maybe even four drops in shenron stuff like that on to the rest of the battle cards we got 3 Dodoria, this is your double striker. I think every deck should have 2 to 3 of these, uh, at least in every single deck, because you need a ways to get rid of unison markers. So this is a double strike, helps you self-awaken if you need to against those slower matchups. And it's just a very strong green card you could combo out later on if you're not using it. Next is Trading Blow Son Goku. Uh, this is a World Martial Arts Tournament card, so you have access to something... Uh, cheesy like this didn't really make up too much difference but again depending on the hand size if you want to use this against certain matchups doesn't really do much against the Vajacks because they they don't really thrive on such a big hand size because you're just going to fuel them for the Supreme Kai who could just combo when you have five or less cards also depending on the Vajacks matchup they could be running the Boo engine which I did go up against um, and that matchup was very close I mean I, I, I probably saved off about like eight nine attacks and it just went down to the last uh, dual attack with the unison, and uh, I was just out comboed from there. But this doesn't really this really this card really makes a difference in certain matchups. Maybe Frieza, who doesn't also have a big hand size in the beginning either, um, you could do this, drop it when they have five car cards or more, and then combo with it to draw. It's a solid card. Nothing really too special though. Next is three fortune teller Baba. Uh, she was pretty good, actually. She has a lot of uses 
she could give your leader a battle cards 5k and then when it's used in the combo area from the battle area you can pop a 5k or less and draw a card so with hercule you're drawing two very strong she's a great addition to this uh, kind of deck or even any earthling deck if you guys run those leaders in the future next our more tech cards is two um, mechikaburas this card is essentially a one stop stopper for decks that want to play their big game cards the next turn if you have knowledge of what your opponent will be playing next such as some linear strategies such as maybe nine drop shenron or vegeta invoker three costs you could call these battle cards and their names um you know by saying the original co uh, cost of the card and then just the basic name like son goku and then they can't play that for the next turn so this can stop your opponent from playing their big turn so you could get them back on the crack back very techie card if this wasn't a best of one format like untap was for the ppg event then i would definitely side these out um in your sideboard another good card for this deck was bardock the resolute even though these are black cards that I just previously played, um, you want to keep it to a minimum so that you could use your KO Ken. Anytime your opponent takes life, either through drawing or through skill, then you can play this for free um, with your red leaders. It's a double strike. Uh, really pressures the unisons, which is mostly what this is used for. Because they're most likely going to out-combo your double strike attack. But if they don't defend or use their negate on the unison, they're going to be losing two markers. So he is a very solid card. Next, onto the unison of choice is four Demigras, unison of sorcery. This is probably one of the top five unisons, in my opinion, in the game right now because it has the ability to wipe out a lot of the board and keep your opponent's um, battle cards at bay simply because of its effect. It's a one-cost green unison so it's very cheap so what's nice about this unison is first of all it has a pretty good permanent if it were to lose markers you could take life instead so depending on the matchup it really helps you kind of self-awaken sometimes your opponent doesn't want to get you that hand size advantage once you uh, draw three and it also helps uh, your unison survive so that you could use its later abilities the plus one effect is to put a marker on it gets plus 10k and basically it's a nice 15k turn one swing without having your opponent having to worry about your opponent killing it uh the next turn because it has the the markers on it already and then the final effect which is really good you can ko one of your opponent's battle cards and then you could ko one of your opponent's battle cards that cost three or less ignoring barrier this was mostly put in here against the invoker matchup because you could pop something or you don't have to pop something, you do as much as you can, then you can pop a three or three costs or less with barrier, aka Vegeta, and KO it. So very strong effect, really good board removal. It is a very strong choice if you guys are having trouble with that deck, since we saw over the weekend it's gotten a lot of praise for topping and being first place in some of the tournaments. So Demigra, really awesome. Liked it a lot. Followed up by the free counter plays. Frieza, Charismatic Villain. This can help against certain matchups. It KOs a 7 cost or less. Their autos still resolve, but you're able to stop something like a Gotenks 7 drop that's 25k or less once they Union and Patara, or something that you just really don't like your opponent to swing you with. Maybe you could use it against the 30k Ox Kings or 30k uh, battle cards that people put in as long as it's uh, 7k or less. So it's very strong, really flexible. Uh, it's a nice green card. Combo it later if you have to. Next is the Arrival of Choice, which is Gogeta. Another card that pops battle cards. So again, with your board removal theme, this deck really has a strength of clearing the board. And Gogeta, 4 cost or less, KO, very strong. And then I also put in 2... Gogeta's Aerobatic Warrior. The reason why I did this was to put mostly a lot of pressure on the unisons. There are certain unisons that you really want to get rid of. Bardock, uh, maybe Crit Frieza for the green, Zeno. A lot of unisons are really, really 
strong in terms of their effects and you want to get rid of some of those as soon as possible so this deck has a lot of double strikers as you guys saw already and you know being able to free play another 15k attacker on another 15k unison forces your opponent to either negate or take that damage and then a tech card another tech are two chunks helping blast this comes in play free if I have a red green multicolor card in my battle area so that triggers off of the Gogeta arrival or even the Nappa arrival that's on the, the field so this can stop a lot of the aggro if they're swinging with those big cards they may not want to lose it in fear of maybe not killing me that turn and saving it for next turn so it's a good card it's good to have it can pressure your opponent from doing different plays and then of course the finisher of the deck is ko ken i don't think you need more than three if you feel like you need any more then the sideboard will help you with that but basically you're going to be playing this you're seeing a lot of cards you only need two because you're drawing so much through hercule won me a lot of games in t testing for the event i have been playtesting for about two weeks or so and i have beaten a lot of decks simply by dropping him so don't discount this card in general Although there are some decks that are main boarding stuff that negate from the drop area. So like at all too easy, I think that's what it's called. A lot of those cards from, oh gosh, was it set seven or eight where you could just pay from the drop zone. Essentially, it's nothing new for KO Ken because it's used to going against those drop negates like how it was in the format a couple sets ago when this came out. So it's nothing new, but some of those cards uh, people will be main decking against cards that go really wide and uh, really aggressive so watch out for that if you are playing ko can this format and then of course the scr is the raditz haven't done any burn damage um although i've come really close a lot of people have been protecting their life trying to be at three or above so it's very difficult for the hercule leader sort of say to put your opponent down to two that's why you rely a lot on your double strikers or your battle cards to really finish a job and then come out with ss3 scramble but you guys could play around if you guys don't like this you guys could put in uh, black smoke dragon if you want to or uh, gogeta maybe not gogeta because all monocolored but something that's very very strong finisher at the end um, if not kaoken is your main win condition and along with the double strikers it's very strong so yeah that was my deck uh, check it out this is pretty much the first version of the red green hercule build i originally wanted to do blue red but i didn't think it had so much removal and i get certain matchups like invoker i just didn't think it was strong enough compared to the red and green cards uh, especially green that the cards right now provide so try this out let me know what you guys think definitely build upon this i'm really interested to see where people could take this deck and i know it's probably like a tier two type of deck but Anybody could expand on this, and I'm really interested to see that. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned on the next one. See you guys later.